Hi, everybody. I just want to give you my opinions on the Leica Minolta CL. Just in case you're looking to buy one and help you make a decision on whether this may be the camera for you. So I'll just go through some of the things that I like, some of the things that I don't like, um, some of the things to look out for when purchasing this camera. This camera is very light, easy to carry around. If you want to shoot street with it or you need to be inconspicuous, it's a very light, pretty silent camera. The shutter just makes a click so it doesn't draw too much attention when you're shooting it. And it has a very small form factor so it'll easily fit in a lot of bags, easy to carry around your neck pretty much all day, and it will fit in a jacket pocket, so it's easy to tote around. Another thing that I really like about this camera is the viewfinder. Although this camera doesn't have the build quality of other Leicas, it does have a Leica style viewfinder, which is very bright and has a very contrasty rangefinder patch that makes it very easy to focus and very fast to focus, even for somebody like me that wears glasses. You also have the ability to shoot 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 35 millimeter on this camera. If you use the entire viewfinder, it's the perspective of a 35 millimeter, although it doesn't have the frame lines you can use the whole viewfinder to frame up your shot. It does have shutter speeds up to 1000, which makes it good for shooting higher ISO film in brighter light. So let me get to some of the, not that I don't like them, but some of the things to, I wish they would have improved if they were gonna make like a Leica CL2. The film advance film counter system is, not as robust as some of the other Leicas or other film cameras that I've used. I find it to be temperamental and I find that I need to be delicate with it. And that's something that you find is broken on a lot of these cameras is the film counter, the shutter curtain is jammed, or the film advance is, not, is a little dodgy. Another weak point of this camera, let me just open the back. is the film take up spool is plastic. And I've seen a lot of these broken. So I'm very gentle with mine. Things to look out for when buying these cameras, like I said, the film advance. So let me just talk about the light meter for a second. Let me remove the lens. That's the actual light meter and it moves after you take a picture, it swings out of place so you can make an exposure. And then as you cock the shutter, the meter swings back into place. It's a kind of crude setup. And also you have to pull the advanced lever out to activate the meter. So it's a little dodgy. I find using an external meter a lot easier and faster. And it's a needle-based rangefinder that isn't, I never found it to be too accurate. And this one was, when I got this camera, it had just been serviced and the meter had been calibrated and everything. And I still really don't trust it with the price of film today. I'm like, why risk it? I just use an external digital meter that goes on a hot shoe. Would I recommend this camera? I would recommend it with the caveat that it's not a camera that you can beat up. It's gonna be a camera that you need to take care of when using it. I would suggest not splurge. If you want the 40 millimeter, which is a great combination on this camera, I would not splurge for the Leica Sumacron. It's the same as the Minolta um, Rokor and it's twice the price. So I would save money there. Another thing, well, speaking of money, these have climbed up in price. They're about 550 to $600 um, just for the body. So they used to be 
a more cost effective option to get into the Leica system, but they're climbing up. I mean, they're a lot cheaper than a lot of the M bodies, which are well over a thousand. So I guess we're in the era of five to 600 is now, you know, reasonable or more on the budget conscious side if you're trying to get into a film M body. It's still, I believe, like the least expensive embody besides some of the um Besser models but it's still one of the least expensive embodies that you can buy today good thing is that you can still get them serviced it'll last you a long time if you take care of it so in conclusion I think the Leica CL is a great option for somebody that wants to get to the M system or just wants a really good rangefinder it's a really good camera with a really good viewfinder it's just a camera that you have to take care of when using. Thanks for watching.